Hi, it's Dr. Z. In this video, I will be reviewing variables in statistics. By the end of this video, you'll be able to define variables, values, and scores, and apply this knowledge to complete lecture examples. Please feel free to pause the video at any time to take notes. Everyone is unique and different in their own way. Psychology research is used to study how people vary from each other. In fact, most researchers use the experimental method to study specific characteristics of people that are of interest to them. These characteristics are called variables. What comes up for you when you hear the word variable? The root word is vary, or to be different from something else like in this photo of different types of Lego minifigures or Lego characters. A variable is a characteristic that can have different values for different people. These characteristics vary from person to person. For example, how do we know that people vary in height? Well, we measure them. This leads us to make measurements of variables. Researchers ask the question, how is the variable measured? to determine what type of measurement is the most accurate and or appropriate for the situation. Continuing with the example of a person's height, what type of measurement should we use? Should we use feet or inches? Ideally, we should use the measurement of feet, like reporting that someone is six feet tall instead of reporting that that person is 72 inches tall. Since these characteristics vary from person to person, variables will have values. Values are the possible number or categories that a variable can have. For my Star Wars fans out there, how many different types of stormtroopers are there? Way too many. This photo shows four different types. A shadow trooper, a clone trooper, a first order stormtrooper, and a sand trooper. In this case, the variable would be stormtrooper, and the values would be the four or more types of stormtroopers. We can further break down variables into a score. A score is an individual person's value on a specific variable like this single stormtrooper is specifically an imperial stormtrooper. Now let's return to the example of measuring a person's height. The variable is height and the values vary in feet as the form of measurement. My score, my individual score for height would be five feet and five inches. But my spouse's score for height would be five feet and 11 inches. What is your score on height? Let's do a practice example together. The researcher wants to know, how many hours of sleep did you have last night? What will be the variable, values, and score? The variable is sleep. Now, how is sleep being measured? Well, the question clearly states hours, so the sleep is being measured in hours. We easily could have said and measured it in minutes, but it's easier to measure it in hours. Recall that values are the possible number that a variable can have. Since the question is asking about your sleep last night, and there are 24 hours in a day, the values will be 0 to 24. It is important to indicate zero because someone might not have slept at all last night. And finally, what is your score? My score is seven and a half hours that I slept last night. Let's do one more practice example. But now I want you to pause the video here to write down your answers before I review the example. Okay, are you ready? First, the variable is hair color. Second, 
hair color is being measured by the different types of color or the categories of hair color. Third, these categories, these values are black, brown, red, blonde, gray, and so forth. Finally, what is your score on hair color? My score is black. Now that we've reviewed variables, values, and scores, are you ready to practice your new knowledge? I have one lecture example for you to review. For my future healthcare professionals, this lecture example is for you. The Wong Baker Faces Pain Rating Scale is a well-known instrument used in the medical field. The scenario is that a patient rates their pain as a 7 on an 11 point scale. I encourage you to pause the video here and attempt to answer these questions on your own first. Then you may resume the video to review the answers. Let's review the answers to this scenario. First, the variable is pain. The answer is kind of given away in the name of the scale. Second, pain is being measured in a very specific way using the Wong Baker Faces Pain Rating Scale. They easily could have measured pain by measuring maybe temperature, uh, their anxiety levels, but in this case, they specifically used this rating scale. According to the rating scale, you can use 0 for no hurt to 10 for hurts worse. The value of 0 counts as a value, so that is why it's considered an 11 point scale. Do not be afraid to use your fingers to count the scale. So let's do it together. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gives you 11 different values, or in this case, an 11 point scale. Finally, the patient's score is a seven because that is what she rated her pain. In summary, research is about variables, values, and scores. Variables are an important Lego building block to understanding statistics.